Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. This week, NASA celebrated the anniversaries of two big events that laid the groundwork for everything we do in space today. On June 3, 1965, Gemini 4 blasted off and resulted in two hallmarks of human spaceflight. The first flight overseen by Mission Control Houston and the first U.S. spacewalk. Since that day 50 years ago, men and women in Mission Control Houston have supported every U.S. human spaceflight and continue to fly the space station today. And spacewalks became one of our most powerful tools, enabling us to accomplish astonishing feats like walking on the moon and building and maintaining a giant space laboratory. A major experiment for the one-year crew began this week, and it's looking to tackle one of the biggest outstanding issues with living in microgravity. When living in space, all of the body's fluids shift around, specifically with less in the legs and more in the head. Researchers believe that this increased fluid level in the head could be increasing pressure and causing astronauts' vision to become impaired. One-year crew members Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko donned the Russian Chibis device to draw fluids back towards their legs so measurements of their eyes and blood vessels could be taken. Results from this study may help to develop preventative measures against lasting changes in vision and eye damage. This week, Alice wants to know how long it takes to train as an astronaut. Well, it takes quite a while, but the payoff makes it all worth it. The first step is getting selected and then going through astronaut candidate training, which takes about two years and gives future astronauts the skills and knowledge needed for formal mission training. Once they get assigned to fly in the space station, they'll spend roughly two more years training around the world on everything they'll need to do in space, including things like experiment operations, spacewalking, and even how to prepare meals in space. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.